I want to thank everyone for your purchase of the uh, Ghost Bridge. I uh, want to give a little tip on putting it on. For most people, it's going to be pretty straightforward. You just put it on here and use your thumbs to push it down. The uh, grommet that's on here is, is a little bit loose on purpose. It's rubber, it's stretchy. So when you put your shaft in there, it'll expand it a little bit, and that's what holds it snugly. Uh, it's recommended that your shaft that you use is no larger than 13 millimeters. So this one is 13, and I've got a 13 and a half. What I'm going to do is just remove this grommet, because this is my personal ghost bridge, and uh, the grommet's probably a little bit uh, used, a little bit stretched. So I'm going to pull it out of here and put in a brand new grommet, just so you can see. So you won't have to do this. Your, your uh, ghost bridge is going to come with the grommet installed, but it's no big deal. It's just rubber. You just put it on. So now you can see this has a little bit of play in there. This is a 13 millimeter tip, so we'll just put it put it on and use the thumbs on both sides. And I'll give you a little tip if yours fits snugly. It will go on. It's rubber. It's going to stretch. It's not going to hurt anything or break anything. But if when it's new, the first time you put it on, it might be a little bit difficult. Just use both thumbs and keep working it. What you might find happen is that on the reverse side, it kind of bunches up. So what you do is just push it on a little bit past where you want it, and then you can come back and just push it back up. And when you push it back up to the end of your ferrule like that, then it kind of re uh, releases the tension on the underside, and then it fits just fine. And this is really snug. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, I'll do the same. Push that back off. This is a uh, 13 and a half millimeter shaft. So it's a little bit bigger than, than what I recommend. But if you have strong thumbs, you can still do it. Just kind of work it on. Use your thumbs to push on both sides. And then again, the trick is push it a little bit past where you want it. It'll get a little bit bunched up on the reverse side. And then when you push it back up, that bunching releases and it fits properly and snugly, as you can see on both sides. So that's how you do it. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope that helps you and enjoy your ghost bridge. Bye.